Oh, this blog is such a pain. Why did I ever agree to do this? What should I talk about today? Hmm. I must say it's great when you can walk around the town you founded and everyone knows who you are. Is this your first time to rest in, sir? With so much happening in our area with metro, land use, hot lanes, everywhere I go people want to ask my opinion on the hot topics. Bob, I'm so glad I ran into you. I really need your advice. I'm thinking about getting a tattoo. A butterfly on my back or a Tasmanian devil on my tuchus. What do you think? The RT is coming up. I have to tell Casey and Andy some ideas I have for the video. Boy, that Jack LeBoy is funny. I love his marketing campaign on YouTube. Hello, ladies. Look at your real estate attorney. Now back to me. Now back to your real estate attorney. Now back to me. Sadly, he isn't me. However, just because he's not as handsome, debonair, and brilliant as I am, does not mean he cannot be taught to negotiate. So I decided to write this book, How to Negotiate Like a Suave, Debonair, Handsome, and Brilliant Real Estate Attorney. Even if he does not look like me, at least he can try to negotiate like me. Let's check our inbox. Hmm. We have a message from Jason at Watt Teeter. Jack, I know I'm just as hot and debonair as you are. But sometimes, believe it or not, I feel like my clients don't always see my true brilliance. What's your secret? I don't see how your clients could overlook your commanding presence and your rugged good looks. I think that your brilliance may be overlooked because you think you are as hot and debonair as I am. My advice to you is to read my book and simply let the newfound negotiating skills subtly convince your clients of the genius that is truly within you. They will find you irresistible and you will discover that they begin to undertake unnecessary transactions just to be alongside you and to watch you work. Your billable hours will go through the roof and you will add the title of managing partner to the list of multiple accolades already bestowed upon you. I cannot stress enough to you and all of my fans who desire to be as suave and debonair as I am. Buy my book now. Buy it. I don't need to buy it. I wrote the book. Casey and Andy should probably read it, though. They still think old school rap is debonair. Yo, back up now. We get your broker's room. Our show is a hit, and we're about to go. Boom! Come and see Andy and me. Huh? Our show is on stage, but it's sure not free. 64 projects, we'll be profiling. Presenting all the facts that we've been compiling. We try to entertain because it's our duty. You don't like our show, then you can kiss our booty. Sit your body, no snow, your jotty. Rise and race, they're going to hurt nobody. Walk this better, there's nothing to fear. Spreading all the good news is why we came here. We'll tell you all the companies that got an on run.
social media isn't all about music. Videos and dashing young attorneys, marketing campaigns. Social media is all about finding friends, current and ones who don't even remember you, and annoying them as often and as many different ways as possible. Poke! What are you doing? I'm poking you. What are you talking about? Do you want to be friends? But we are. We'll confirm or quietly ignore. Well, of course we're friends. Thank you. Are you in a relationship? What? You haven't said anything about your relationship status. Why would I say anything about my relationship status? Oh, I get it. It's complicated. What does that mean? What are you doing? I'm writing on your wall. I'm writing that Joe Ritchie's moving to Crystal City. I never said that. Just being funny. See? Funny. You're trying to sabotage my career. Well, if you don't think that's funny, you're probably not going to think this is funny. I'm tagging all these kids as your, your kids. See? They're Joe Ritchie's kids. But they're not mine. Dad, we want to play Mafia Wars. Wars. But Dad, we want to play Farmville. <laughs> Austin, what's up? What are you doing here? You're blocked. I can't hear you. We've been friends for over 15 years. You can't unfriend me. I unfriended you. I can't hear you. Wait, what? I've been unwanted before it's true and uninvited a time or two. But today I'm feeling unusually blue. I've been unfriended by you.